So I recently switched to flat wounds from round wound strings and I was asked why. Uh, I'm 50 years old, I've played bass most of my life and I've never liked flat wound strings. The first bass I ever bought was from a neighbor when I was uh, 13 or 14 years old. It was a Guild Jetstar, the kind that looks like a uh, looks like an SG. And it came with tape wound, flat wound strings. And I did not like them at all. They sounded terrible. They gave a big thump, uh, had no sustain, had no top end, and I didn't like them. So for the longest time, I've avoided them. There's been once or twice over the years I've took a bass and put some flat lines on it, and I end up not playing that bass. Uh, so I just kept switching away from them again. But recently, Ernie Ball has come out with some uh, cobalt flat line strings that I really like. I really like the cobalt round wound strings, and I switched to those years ago. Uh, amazing amount of top end. So when they came out with the uh, flat wound cobalts, I thought, well, let me give those a try. And they have an amazing amount of top end for a flat wound string. In fact, I'm going to show you something. The G string on this bass is an Ernie Ball Cobol Slinky uh, round wound. And everything else on it are the flat wounds. So let me show you the difference in sound. That is the flat wound string. That is the round wound string. definitely has more top end but the flat wound isn't missing so much top end that I can't use it and this is what I'm gaining with the flat wounds that I don't get out of the round wounds listen to this that's the flat wound right this is round wound all that finger noise I don't know maybe it's because I'm getting older and I'm not as articulate as I used to be, and my, my reach isn't as big, but my playing style has developed into something almost like a stand-up bass style where I, I tend to slide. And um, if I slide... You hear all that finger noise. So it's a trade-off. You're not going to keep as much top end, but you are going to have a lot less uh, finger noise. <clears throat> the other thing you gain out of the flat wounds is, this is difficult for me to explain, but I'll, I'll try and put it to you like this. In the sound spectrum, when you play a note on the flat wounds, the fundamental of that note is really hitting you in the gut, and the harmonic is kind of back here. So you got to get this. Whereas with the round wound, it's kind of the opposite. You're getting that cut of the harmonic with the fundamental coming in behind it and not packing as heavy a punch. So, I, I originally intended to switch one of my basses to flat line strings, and uh, lately I've been switching them all to flat line strings. Except for the eight string, which uh, I don't think anybody's making eight string sets out of flat wounds. I could probably put a set together though. I switched to flat wounds. Give them a try. Maybe you'll like them.